What makes a good poem? Uh, a good poem, you know, uh, I think sometimes kids or even adults, they look at a poem, oh, I could do that, it's easy, but really like the craft is more difficult than people might imagine. Like the rhythm is very important. Like uh, I might read a poem a certain way with certain accents and I really don't want somebody to read a poem in a different rhythm or scan it differently because then, you know, they're, I mean, that's one thing that's beautiful about poetry is that you can recite it. We have things like italics, we can italicize a word, or I use like uh, a bold font or a long dash, you know, to pause the reader. We can have shape poems and upside down poems. And as I tell kids in poetry, you could do anything you want. That's poetic license. What is your writing process? I have the no routine routine, <laughs> that's what I call it, you know, the no plan plan. I don't have any plan. I have no idea where I'll get my ideas. I, you know, I could be on a subway or a bus or at home or at two in the morning or something. And I think that's what works well for me. I love playing with words. Um, even in my titles, like I had a book, I had a book, of, it had like uh, 180 funny poems. And I was thinking, it's, it's kind of like a cafeteria for poems. It's a laugh So sometimes I combine words together like encyclopedia instead of encyclopedia and unbelievables. I love to read field guides and nonfiction books to gather a lot of information. It's so hard for a kid or even a, an author to sit down with a blank piece of paper. It doesn't work like that for me. So the research and uh, the learning really helps to create the poem spontaneously. How do you create the illustrations? I use like uh, rubber stamps and uh, candy wrappers and uh, silver foil and, and a barrage of collage and colored pencils, watercolor gouache, even dinosaur dust and, uh, just joking, <laughs> and honey and, and nectar and, well, and anything I can uh, round up in my studio. But um, I, I, want, I wanted to really have a lot of variety from picture to picture. I, you know, I don't, I don't like to look at a book where, where like every, every picture is the same, the same palette, the same composition. So here's um, Iguanodon and Iguanodonna. I like to have, a, like, you know, variety and, and within, within a certain boundary, you know. What do you like best about writing? Uh, I like best about writing, like surprising myself, like, wow, I can't believe I wrote that. That's very inventive. Congratulations. How did you do that? You know, I, I really don't like formulas. I like uh, to be adventurous, to keep growing, you know. Uh, I think, you know, look at Frank Lloyd Wright. He was like almost 90 years old. He created the Guggenheim Museum. He didn't like sit back on his laurels. He didn't have any laurels. But, um, you know, keep growing, keep surprising myself, um, expanding, you know, trying different things and always trying to get better and better. That's what I like to do.